Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because we are trying out a ton of new makeup from the drugstore. I have been seeing it nonstop on my TikTok feed or my YouTube feed, and I just wanted to see what it was all about. So I picked up a bunch of new products. We play around with them. I did have a fail. One was actually two. We had two fails. One was my fault, cause shade matching. And the other was, well, it hurt. The product, it hurt. So you guys, I tried them out so you don't have to, and you can make the decisions for yourself. Now, before we jump into this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, hit the bell for notifications, new videos. And if you like this video, make sure you get a big thumbs up. But if you want to see what products I tried from the drugstore and how I got this look, just keep watching. Okay, you guys, I have so much new stuff from the drugstore in front of me and I reached into the collection. I picked out other affordable items with the exception of one thing and we'll talk about it when we get there. But there's so many new things and they have been going viral on TikTok. There's even dupes for some things that are a little more expensive that I have in my collection. And I just wanna know, are they just as good and you can save some money? So we are trying all of it out today. Now, there's a couple things like, they did send me a couple like things that I could pick out in samples or whatever. This is the Power Grip Primer. I have the full size. So this, when you see this, the giveaway will have ended, but this is gonna go into the giveaway drawer. There's no point in keeping the large size and the small size. When I travel, I just, I put my makeup bag in my backpack so it goes on the plane with me. And we do have travel coming up this year. So it's just, it's gonna stay with me wherever I go. Now, let me go ahead and prime my eyes. I do have, this is the e.l.f. Intergalactic, and I think, yeah, so this is the Perfect 10 eyeshadows. It said intergalactic on the front, but when I took the sticker off, that was gone. Um, this, I picked up about a month or two ago. So this isn't new, new, but I haven't used it. I really wanna use this, especially looking at some of these shimmers, the blues but then I can still keep it neutral in the matte shades and just kind of smoke it out with the browns and tans. And even like this shade is more of like a deep mauve. Feel like I'm gonna have some fun with this. Okay, I did go ahead and prime my eyes. I used my P. Louise base. It's not sold at the drugstore and it used to be sold at Morphe stores. But if you go online, she has a bunch of different like shades in the shade range, including colorful ones. So if you want something to put down underneath your bright, colorful shades to make them pop, definitely check out P. Louise. Now for this palette, I do want to swatch the shimmers that I'm leaning towards using. The dogs are going berserk and Luke is trying to get them to not bark. And I'm like, they're not listening to you. Dogs are just going to bark. That's how it is. All right. So these are the four. Oh, look at this one so stunning i do like the purple but i'm leaning towards the two blue icy shades and even this one is kind of like a like silvery shade <clears throat> now looking at the shades especially the matte ones i think i'm actually going to start out with this tan shade there's no shade names on this palette and of course there's not a mirror that is the one thing that you find most times with affordable, well, drugstore. I have a com I have a whole thing about affordable at the drugstore nowadays. So I don't know if anyone else feels the same way I do. Back in the day, I say back in the day, like two years ago, you would see these videos that say affordable at the drugstore. And then I was looking at the drugstore prices and I was like, this is no longer affordable. This is what I get at, you know, some of them are leaning a little more expensive. I think foundations are getting anywhere from, like I think when I first started using the L'Oreal Infallible, I'd get her for like nine to like $11, depending on where I went or if there was a sale. And I feel like recently I have seen foundations at the drugstore or the affordable side of Ulta, cause that's definitely a thing as well, that are like 15, 16, $17. And I was like, we used, that, that is the affordable end, but $17 for a drugstore foundation? I know like 
they say inflation's real and everything, but on makeup? I don't know. Does anyone else feel that same way that just the things that used to be affordable at the drugstore, you could go there because you don't want to spend a lot of money, but things are getting more reliable and longevity and better formulations. Like when I was in, I didn't wear, really wear makeup in middle school. I played around with makeup mostly in high school. Actually, towards the end of middle school into high school, I was playing around with makeup. And it was mostly like eyeliner, lip gloss, maybe foundation. But I wasn't as into makeup as I am now. And I love experimenting with different colors and shades and formulations. And if you've been here when my channel started, I wasn't as into bright colorful shadows because I couldn't wear them that often. But when I was going through my eyeshadow collection for my declutter, I was noticing there's a lot of colorful palettes that I have nowadays. And I actually decluttered quite a few of my neutral palettes too. I'm gonna go into this more like mauve shade. I'm not gonna say it's tan or brown. It's, it's leaning a little pink, kind of like a mauve. But I am gonna do it on my fluffy crease brush. I have a kitty. So chew. Hi, what are you doing? You want me to move over? I can scooch. No, she wants my lap. Honey, you gotta lay down. <laughs> You're <laughs> I don't know, maybe she's, you know, a normal entity on my channel now. So chew, you gotta lay down. All right, into the more like mauve tan shade. What are you doing? But I just, I wonder if you guys feel the same way about drugstore makeup that used to be fairly affordable. And, you know, depending on what you have going on in your life, you're not going and spending $65 on a Givenchy or Sephora foundation. Just, it, it's not always in the budget or it's just not the splurge that you want to make. But if you're going to the drugstore, are you noticing that your favorite products are a little more expensive than you would like to spend? Especially when you went from only for a full face of makeup, spending about $100 to $120 if you use everything, to now you're spending almost as much as you used to at Sephora. I don't know. I'm, I'm intrigued to like see where you guys like are thinking. That doesn't make sense. I'm intrigued to know your thoughts. Are you noticing a deeper dive into your wallet when you're replacing some of your loved items? And I guess I didn't really notice it because I hadn't, I had been purchasing new products, but I wasn't doing the price comparison. I wasn't really, cause makeup is my channel and it's something that I love to do. But when you're talking about replacing things that you know you didn't mind spending 10 or 11 dollars on but now you're spending 17 to like 22 dollars for a foundation at the drugstore it adds up you guys all right so i think i deepened that up pretty good i don't know that i want to go like full smoky eye with this but i'm going to dive into this black shade right here and i'm going to do that with my pencil brush so it's a little more precise just as I've been doing recently. What are you doing? She is like all over my lap, you guys. You trying to be a normal visitor? I will say, I do enjoy being able to buy stuff from the drugstore and have it last as long as my high-end makeup. One of my favorites when I started my channel was the L'Oreal Infallible. I still reach for it. I also have, what is it, the CoverGirl. I have... A serum foundation from L'Oreal which is really good especially as my skin has gotten a little bit older and more defined with wrinkles I like the fact that I don't have to spend you know $70 on a foundation for my daily wear makeup I reach for the more expensive stuff when I have special events or you know maybe I'm just doing something with friends but my daily wear that I use the most is actually from the drugstore. So let me know, like, are you feeling that? Are you like wondering why your makeup is costing more? 
Okay, so we just smoked it up a little bit and I really like how this is looking. All right, I'm gonna go into this beautiful blue shade right here. And I think I'm gonna put that in the middle and then put this lighter shade right here in the inner corner. All right, so you guys, I have to go run errands in a little bit. And I, I was just, I wanted to sit down and film. I don't feel like I've just sat down and had like time to like play in the makeup that I've purchased. Things have been a little bit crazy. Um, the holidays, the end of the year. I'm just trying to get back into it. Luke and I had a trip that we were gonna be doing with his friends around Valentine's Day and those plans just fell through. But I told him, I was like, hey, we're still gonna go do something. Like even though we're not doing those things, which we were gonna go to Cabo for like a week around Valentine's Day. I was like, hey, like let's find something else to do. So we did start looking. We were looking at cruises. We were looking at maybe renting, you know, a place down at the beach, but then at the same time, like North Carolina is not as tropical as Cabo is. And we were gonna fly to Cabo, but we just drove to Florida for the holidays. And we we're like, we're not driving back down to Florida. As fun as that sounds, that, that's just not the vibe right now. So let me go finish this eye. I'll be back and we will talk about what we have going on. Okay, you guys, <laughs> this palette, really, really like it. I love the quality of these shimmers. We'll go and finesse it once I've done my base products. Now, I did say we're going to use the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer with the 4% niacinamide. This is kind of like the dupe for the Milk Makeup Gripping Primer that everyone was in love with. I was not a fan of the Milk Makeup one, but I love this. You guys, my skin gets so freaking red. I wish I didn't have the redness. It would make it so much easier when it came time to like do my foundation. <laughs> and I could do stuff that was a little more sheer. But this redness, it happens. And I just actually had a facial and she was like, so you don't look like you have rosacea. It just looks like burst blood vessels. And I was like, it just runs in the family. It is what it is. Now I did say I have something I'm using that's not from the drugstore and that is the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer. I absolutely love this. I did just have to repurchase it. I had tried to go into Ulta and pick it up. Sold out. Every store by me doesn't have it in stock. However, Tarte is releasing like a new palette that it's like a face palette and eyeshadow palette and that popped up today. Um, so I was like, you know what? If I'm gonna purchase this from Tarte, I might as well just get my primer. So I did just repurchase that, but it's gonna go in my porous areas right through here. And then also where my lines are. So it's just gonna help smooth everything out. No matter what, I have not found anything that just does the same thing. Granted, actually, I take that back. Cali Ray has a really good blurring primer and Stila has a really good, but when I want to use some of my more like hydrating um, primers, the Tarte Timeless is what I put in my pores and line areas. So I love the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. This is so good, so like nice on the skin. But I'll just release the Camo Hydrating CC Cream. I realized though that I picked up <laughs> two different shades. So I picked this up in medium 370N, but my regular is in light 280N. So it might be a little too dark. We'll see. It might be great for summer. So I might need to get a lighter shade for like winter. We will see. As well as I also picked up the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion. This is in light glow. There were three different shades. This is the medium one. There were, there's one that's darker than this. And I was like, do I really need to go that? But I also am like, do I need the hydrating and the glow? I picked them up together. So I was just kind of like, mm, let's see. I don't want to wear it with the foundation, especially if I'm trying it out for the first time. I too 
Ooh, that is beautiful though. So maybe when I wear one of my like more matte foundations, it does feel nice when it like dries down. Look at that. I feel like on the shoulders and stuff during like summer, that'll be beautiful. I just don't know that I want to put it underneath the hydrating CC cream right now while I'm trying it out. So we're going to hold off on this one. And then I also picked up the NYX Pro Fix Stick Correcting Concealer. This is supposed to just be for like the under eyes because I don't really put concealer any other places. There is actually a whole lot of product in here. So that's pushed all the way up. And I do like that it twists back down. So we're gonna try that out. This is not new, it's in my collection. So I'm gonna use it as my setting powder. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Press Powder. We have a hydrating CC cream. So we're gonna use a mattifying setting powder, which is what I tend to do nowadays. But we also have some other cream products. These two blushes from e.l.f. <laughs> I have been seeing them all over my TikTok and oh my goodness, a little goes a long way so we're gonna we're gonna try and then a couple of the cream products I already have in my collection the elf halo glow contour wand and then this one I just picked up this is oh this is another contour hmm I need to grab a bronzer actually I don't know which one should I use we'll figure out when I get there we'll see what I feel but I do need to grab a bronzer this is the Physician's Formula Mineral Wear Diamond Bronzer. Just picked this up and did a review of like all the Physician's Formula releases for like spring. This one makes me nervous because I know it's the wrong shade. But I'm also like, okay, well, I can't. I'll try it out and if I need a different shade, I'll just go get a lighter shade. We'll start right there. Okay, so I was talking about <laughs> it's even too dark for like my summer shade you guys oh no we'll see if we can make it work just trust the process all right so luke and i decided well i kind of decided because i wanted and i talked about it last year but january was not the month we thought it was going to be and usually when we go snowboarding um, and I say we, I, when I go snowboarding, it's usually in like January, February, cause that's when you get more of the snow and less of the man-made like making snow at the resorts. Well, um, as some of you know, I moved my grandmother in with me in January last year. You guys, this is too dark. Maybe I can mix some of this in. So... And I like the glowy effect. So I moved my grandmother in with me last year because of some things that had happened and just trying to get everything figured out and like taken care of. We didn't have time to go snowboarding. Um, if you saw my November video about, well, it wasn't even November. I want to say it was like mid December. I was talking about my life update. I'm going to take some of the 280N light 280N. All right, so I just put that on the back of my hand. See if I can lighten this up a little bit. We'll see, hopefully it works. And I'll mix for my forehead. Um, but in November, right before Thanksgiving, I lost my grandmother. And I'm gonna, I swear I'm gonna keep it together today. But I was talking to Luke and I was like, you know, maybe we weren't meant to go to Cabo with your friends. Maybe we were meant to do something that you, just the two of us. So we were looking for like cruises, like tropical vacations that we could just, you know, rent an Airbnb or whatever. But also that's the other thing. If you're not military or, you know, know anyone that's military, you don't necessarily know the, the requirements for like requesting to go out of the country there's a lot that goes along with it. And we had started the process to go to Cabo, but things didn't work out. And so looking on Airbnb and a bunch of different places, realized, okay, well, maybe we can just, you know, get a cabin and go snowboarding. Cause 
Luke doesn't know how to snowboard. He's never gone before. I love snowboarding. I learned originally, not too far from here, it's about three hours away at a place called Wintergreen. And that was back in, shoot, 2008. And I had gone one time. <laughs> Me and my girlfriend and her daughter, we decided to go up to Wintergreen. I think we paid for lessons or something because we we're just like, okay, let's not throw ourselves down the hill. So <laughs> we paid for lessons and everything. You guys, this is so dark. Oh, I don't know if I can save this. All right, we're gonna, <laughs> guys, it's so, it's so orange. It's so orange. I like how, I like how my skin looks outside of being the wrong color. Even on top of my primer. See, I like it. I, it's just not the right color. Even mixing it did not tone it down enough. Let me take this off and then I am just going to use my regular CC cream. And I'm going to have to buy a new shade of the hydrating. And I thought I, I thought I grabbed the right shade when I ordered it online. Let me go fix this. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, you guys. So since I am using the regular CC cream, cause it does tend to be a little more on the matte side, I am gonna try the Lumi Glotion. This one is from L'Oreal. I don't know that I need to do this, but I wanna try it now that I'm using a non-hydrating foundation. No amount of trying to fix that was gonna be the right shade. So it is what it is. I am just blending this in with my brush only because I'm not a huge fan of like the, sh the shiny. I want it to be a little more dispersed and I know how the CC cream is. So I'm gonna use this under something that I know I like and I like how it looks. I do have the e.l.f like kind of the glowy thing, but it's a little bit darker. And I use that to like deepen up some of my lighter foundations. But this, I just kind of want to like put the like glowiness in on a more mattifying formula. All right, now into light 280N, the e.l.f. CC cream. We're gonna start with that and add in wherever I need it. See, it's a much better color. The other one, I was like pumpkin orange, like really orange. All right, so, so Luke and I, after looking for like a cruise or anything like that, we decided we were going to, and I, we lucked out. We really did luck out. And I just happened to look on Airbnb for Snowshoe, which is one of my, like around here, it's one of the better like snowboarding places that I've been. I haven't been everywhere. I know that wintergreen is nice for like if you're learning, but I'm not gonna like, it's smaller. So if we're gonna go for a week, I want something that's a little bit bigger and snowshoe is definitely that. It's only like five hours from here. So we're gonna go just the two of us for like a five day getaway. And I'm gonna teach him how to snowboard which he's never done before, but he has, he told me that he used to surf. So hopefully that helps. Snowboarding's gonna hurt a little bit more. <laughs> and I speak from experience. Um, like I said, the first time I ever snowboarded was wintergreen at a smaller resort and everything. My second time ever snowboarding was the following year in Nagano. I think I've talked about this on my channel, but I can't remember. But it was just, it was crazy how a year prior I had just learned how to snowboard and was able to stay up and get off the snow lift and all that stuff. All the things that you need to do for like basics. But we went to Nagano, two of the guys that I worked with on the ship in Japan. We, you know, got off of duty and I think I'm going to use the Physician's Formula Butter Glow Contour Wand. I just got this one and I really like it. Um, but we had the 24 hour, kind of like what Luke's doing now with his ship where he stands 24 hour duty. We were doing the same thing on a ship in Japan. 
when I was stationed in Yokosuka, which is about like an hour south of Tokyo. I loved Japan. I loved living over there. And Luke is talking about like, where do we want to go to next? But I'll be retired by then. So wherever he wants to go will be an adventure. We got off of duty and we had the next day off, the next two days off. So we grabbed our snowboarding gear, we hit the train and we just went to Nagano. And the night before I was able to find like a hostel. It was, yeah, I wanna say it was a hostel. Um, and they had a bunk bed and a regular bed that we could like sleep in. So we all just split a room and went and had a good time. And it was cool cause the place that we stayed at was like, as soon as you walked out the door, you could just walk to the right and be on the slopes. But I used, I miss those adventures and just having like a no cares and just kind of go, which was a really cool experience. Now, I, as I'm a little bit older, it's like, oh, we got to plan this and we got to do this. And, you know, being an adult, it's difficult sometimes. <laughs> I say that, I'm joking. Everyone has their different like things that they've got going on. All right, so I like where we're at right now. I do have the NYX Pro Fix Stick Correcting Concealer. I got mine in the shade 06 Natural. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm gonna start on one side and then work my way over. But I do also have the cream blushes and I'm trying not to forget about those. So, and I'm sorry, I'm like all over the place I'm kind of in a distracted momentum right now, I'm sorry. I don't wanna to put too much on. I've never used like a stick concealer. And I don't think I've ever used a concealer from NYX. All right, and a dampened sponge. Let's see. So I got on Airbnb and I typed in snowshoe. Now, immediately, I had a couple places come up, but only one of them, only one of them had like one that had a queen bed. The other one had two double beds and I was like, Luke and I wouldn't be able to sleep in the same bed. Not a big deal, whatever. But this one, we lucked out because I've gone to snowshoe before with my ex-husband. We did it for like New Year's. I'm going to add a little bit more. And we got a place that we thought was like 20 minutes away, but taking into consideration weather conditions, other drivers, the twisty, turny roads leading from the resort, it went from being a 20 minute on Google Maps to like an hour. And doing that for like three or four days, mm -mm, no. So this one is actually between both of the entrances of Snowshoe. So it makes it nice. Like we're not going to have to drive too far to get to where we're staying. I don't think it's a ski in ski out type of location, but I'm okay with that. Like we can park at the resort and drive home or whatever. All right. So with concealer without it brightened it up. It's, it looks like it's smoothed out. We'll really tell once I do my blush and then put my powder on, but so far, I kind of like this. We'll see, because we still have to get through the rest of the video. And I'm just going to take into consideration the fact that I wanted a little bit more last time. But today, our errands, because Luke went and got my snowboard for me out of the garage. And I was looking at it last night. My snowboard needs some maintenance. Um, the edges, made of metal, are rusting, because I have not snowboarded in two years and you don't want rusty edges but I also know that it needs to be waxed so there's a place around here that we're gonna go and drop it off get a tune-up I know that Luke was able to find like waterproof pants that he can use for snowboarding and stuff that he already owns I told him I was like be careful because you don't you don't want to wear something that isn't waterproof and then if you fall or you're sitting, your butt's just going to be soaking wet and you're going to be miserable. So he did try 
his pants on and he can move around. That's the one thing. When you're trying on your snowboarding pants, you want to make sure, okay, that you can squat and not rip out your knees or your butt. You just want to make sure that they're like movable, that you're not going to be like super tight and constrained. You just want that like maneuverability. So <laughs> he's like, do I really have to squat? I was like, yes. Cause if you fall and you go to stand back up, you're in the squatting position. Um, so, poor guy. All right. So I have two blushes. These are the elf camo liquid blush. I have the shade pinky promise. And then I have coral crush. I'm going to swatch them real quick because the coral is a little bit orangey. Let's see. Just a smidgen. I don't know that that's the vibe. I already took off my orange uh, foundation earlier. And then Pinky Promise. So looking at these, I kind of want to use this one. I think what I'm going to do is put one of them on the back of my hand and like go in slightly. I think I'm going to use Pinky Promise though. I don't want to overdo it though. And I might have, I might have just put way too much on the back of my hand. So I pick some up. We're going to blot it off a little bit. All right. So that is like, I don't know why I have a fist. Like I'm going to punch myself. That seems to be like the way you just pick up a little bit, blot it on the back of your hand and then go back in to like build what you want. Cause I have seen some of the videos and I'm like, Oh, Oh, you can't undo that. And it can be like, it can be pretty intense from some of the like videos that I watched where they just did like a little dab. And I was like, Oh, don't do that. And I, I have been a culprit of like too much blush, but remember we're also putting powder on this. So it will, it should tone down, but I'm excited. And I haven't vlogged in a while. I just haven't been in the mood to like, vlog everything that's going on because there's some things that I'm doing right now that are in preparations for my grandma's memorial so I'm just I haven't been in the mood but the memorial will happen um the end of January and then I can just kind of like hopefully get back into a better routine um and focus on some other things. My, my main priorities and focuses have not been on things that I need, but more or less like my cousin or I, or just planning. So yeah, I'm, I'm kind of distracted, but I'm, I'm, I've got my to-do list. I have like, as I check things off, I'm like, okay, I can go on to the next thing. Okay. So it's kind of pinky. I do usually put some on my nose just as like a flush. Ooh, that's that like snow kissed pink. But once all that, we will have the snowboarding trip. And I think I plan on vlogging the snowboarding trip with Luke, which you guys have not met him unless you like follow me on Instagram. He is on my like channel for Instagram. Uh, in photos. So there's that. All right, let's, so I'm picking up my Rimmel stay mat. All right, so picked up that we need to pat this back out, which is not too bad. Wow. Okay. So this is with the Rimmel stay mat on it. Look, look at the difference. Okay. If you have not picked up the Rimmel Stay Matte, this powder is so good. And I forget to use it all the time, but it is such a good powder. I'm just smoothing my lines back out. But there are no promises <laughs> that I vlog the snowboarding trip. I currently am planning on vlogging it. We'll see. I do know like teaching Luke how to snowboard is going to be fun. <laughs> and I'm kind of excited for it. I have taught 
quite a few of my friends how to snowboard. I had one friend when we were in Japan. I wanted to go snowboarding. She's like, I don't know. I'm not good at it. I was like, good at it or know how to? She's like, I've never tried. I was like, okay, that is a whole different beast. So I gave her some of my gear to borrow with the exception of like snowboard and whatnot. And I took her up on the mountain and taught her how to snowboard. We had a blast. She ended up having a really fun time, but she at first was just like not having it. And she was like, I don't snowboard. This isn't my thing. I, I'm girly. And I was like, I'm girly. She's like, okay, fine. She ended up having a good time towards the end, but the falling down in the beginning is not the vibe. So I'm excited to teach Luke how to snowboard and I really hope he likes it. So, so I have a snowboarding partner again. It's still pretty bright, even with the powder on it. So maybe just tone it down a little bit more. Cause I know in the past when I've used cream blushes and whatnot, I've gone and put powders on it and it just like looks like it disappeared. This actually has really good staying power and just color longevity. I'm interested to see what it looks like later on tonight when I get home and go to take my makeup off. All right. Have you guys picked them up <laughs> or have you been terrified from watching some of the TikToks that you've seen? I'm just, I'm intrigued and I want to know. Like I did not need to put as much on my hand as I did. And I really like, I really like how my blush turned out. All right, <laughs> let's go finish off this under eye. I'm gonna go back into this tan shade, the mauve, and then a little bit of the black. Actually, no, I'm just gonna go into this mauve, mauve brown, and then the black. I wish we actually lived closer to like a ski resort or whatever. Cause what was it? When I was in Chicago, I actually had a like season pass for snowboarding and I loved it. I would go probably like every other weekend. I would see if I had a friend who wanted to go or I would just go by myself and go snowboarding. And it got to the point that I would get to the ski lifts and the attendant would be like, oh, you're back. Good to see you. And I'm like, oh, that's that was cool. Like they remember who I was even with all my snowboarding gear on. But my stuff is pretty like bright and colorful. But the closest resort to us is like three hours away. And as much as I want to have a season pass, there's no guarantee I'm driving three hours every other weekend or whatever. And skiing and snowboarding are just really, really the winter months. Maybe when I retire, we'll have like a place close to us and I don't even know where like we might retire, but it doesn't mean I can't start like looking at places and see like where we might end up. All right, we're gonna finesse the outer corner to be a little bit darker. Mm, I love that smokiness. Now for the inner corner, I'm kind of thinking I want to use this like silvery shade. So I'm going to use this in the inner corner. It's not going to be the brow bone or the cheek like highlighter only because I, that that's not the vibe, but the inner corner is going to be this like silvery green shade. I really hope I can pick it up on my brush. Ooh, very icy with like a minty green lean. When I told my friends that Luke and I were gonna go snowboarding and that I was gonna teach him how, they're like, you gotta get it on video. We wanna, we wanna see if he can stay up or if he falls. And I was like, that's kind of mean, <laughs> but <laughs> I also know it's gonna be entertaining. Um, <laughs> he's like, how do I, how do I figure out my feet again? I was telling him like, mind you, we don't have a snowboard or anything because we're gonna rent when we're there. I don't want him to buy gear and then not be good at it or like it. And he just wasted money. So we're gonna rent gear up at Snowshoe. Um, <laughs> 
but he was trying to figure out like his feet and placement and all that stuff which all right so I'm excited to take him and see like if he likes it before I get any further I need to do bronzer so we're going to use the physician's formula mineral wear diamond bronzer this is in shade deep bronze gem and this one we found during that video when I reviewed it it's one of those that you can just like build and it's a nice subtle build and it's kind of like a cream to powder formula but I was telling Luke I was like you need to make sure you got like certain gear like he's got gloves but you want thicker gloves for snowboarding so he was trying to find the stuff that he might need that he already has like in his like stuff and then whatever he doesn't have we'll either pick up at the place I've got to drop my board off at or uh, order it online. One of my favorite like online places is Evo. Um, that's where I got my snowboard when I had <laughs> I got a lot of slack for this but when I had gotten stationed out in Japan and I was talking to a couple friends about oh I want to go snowboarding out here <laughs> we were on like a three month underway and I was like oh the rate at which we get our mail like if you've ever mailed anything to military it takes forever if you're on a ship because it goes from the base to a ship a supply ship to your like person's ship or whatever so it takes forever well I was like okay well let me order this snowboard and I did it during like spring summer time frame so that by the time we got back it would be there waiting on the pier that's not what happened tell me why we're in the middle of the ocean <laughs> in the summer and my snowboarding arrived <laughs> I got in so much trouble. They were like, where are we going to store this? It's not secured for sea. And I was like, I didn't know it was going to take this long. I, like, I thought it was going to take a month or so. I had that snowboard in three weeks. We still had two more weeks underway. And all right, for highlighter, I'm using the Revlon Skin Lights. This is that dupe for the Amrezy highlighter from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love this. I got one of the coolest snowboards. I'm so, I still have that snowboard. I was so excited to be like, oh, I can put this together. My chief was not happy that I had it shipped to the ship and it arrived on our deployment. <laughs> I say deployment, we were only gone for like two or three months. Um, we just call those cruises. But I, <laughs> I was like, crap, where am I going to hide this? Like, this isn't going to fit in my rack. I'm not going to like snuggle with my snowboard. Um, we found a place. We were able to hide it for like the rest of the time we were underway. Like I said, it was only like two or three more weeks that we were underway. But I was just like, this was some really good shipping. To get to me all the way in Japan on a ship underway. But if you're looking for like snowboarding gear or skiing or anything like that, just sport gear in general, Evo has some really good like winter sport type of stuff. And... I usually like if I'm gonna buy a new board or boots or anything like that I do it during the like spring and summer sales because boards are expensive <laughs> so are their boots so are boots okay I have quite a few things still in front of me right now I have new bra stuff this is the Maybelline Maybelline tattoo studio brow styling gel We'll see. Uh, usually I'll like flick through and like deepen up my brows that way. I'm just gonna see like what it looks like when I go and like run it through my brows. And if I need to deepen it up with a pencil, I will. All right, so just come through it to see. And I have mine in this shade, couldn't tell you, medium brown. It's just a little tiny spoolie. These kind of make me nervous sometimes. They can be messy. I'm really hoping I didn't get this far and mess up all my makeup. All right, so. I'm just trying to like grab the hairs a little bit and drag them backwards.
That's actually not that bad. It did deepen them up a little bit from where like my brow tint that was like done a couple weeks ago. It's starting to fade a little bit, but it doesn't fade too much. Thankfully is deepened it up a little bit. Not bad. And even then it's given them, <laughs> it's given them some personality. So let's do this side. And I'm just trying to grab them ever so slightly without like tinting my skin. Okay, so if you want your brows just tinted a little bit and kind of like fluffied a little bit, fluffed eyes, I don't know. I can't, I can't speak today, you guys. The words are just not flowing how they should. I need to go do liner and then I'll come back for mascara and I've got lips and a new setting spray. So let me go and do liner and I will be back. Okay, you guys, so waterline and eyeliner or liquid liner are not drugstore. I could not for the life of me find my, I usually have like the L'Oreal Infallible for waterline. I couldn't find any more drugstore eyeliners. It happens. I am thinking that I need to add a little bit more into my brows. I have the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. I bought this, I think I've used it like once. I'm not great at it, but I'm like, ooh. I don't have a regular like pencil that has it. See, this might be a bad idea. And it's in the shade Espresso, so it is a little bit darker. I am grabbing onto the end, so it's just like a flick. I don't want to like have too much pressure and like drag it up and it just be too thick. Just a couple like extra brow strokes. Once that dries, I'll use my spoolie and see if I can like feather it out a little bit. Now, I need to curl my lashes. And I meant to curl these before I came back on camera. All right, I have the L'Oreal Panorama, which is a voluminous mascara. I hadn't seen this anywhere. And then, where was I? I think it was at Ulta. And I saw it and I was like, ooh, let me try that out. I do like the packaging on it. And then this is what this booty looks like. It's very like cone shaped, a lot more spiky at this end and a little bit shorter, like towards the tip. Here goes nothing. You guys can see like how pulled apart they are like the bottom is always where you guys can see the difference like you can tell the difference and then they just are non-existent right now oh that's only one coat let me go ahead and do a second coat My eyes look so wide awake right now because of the mascara and then these are just kind of like, meh. Lashes? Who needs lashes? Alright, so one coat, two coats. Not too bad. All right, let's do one more coat on this side. I 
think I'll be reaching for this quite a bit. Do I think if you, I don't know if this is going to just exaggerate what you have or I don't feel like it's like super volumizing. I tend to have naturally long and thick lashes. I'm really lucky in that aspect. I don't know if this is gonna work for everyone. If you've tried out the Panorama from L'Oreal, let me know down below. I know that for my lashes, they look really good right now. And I would wear this on the daily. I do need to use a spoolie underneath my eye because I made a mess. That is how you <laughs> fix your mascara if you get it anywhere that it wasn't supposed to be. Just let it dry and then use a spoolie. For setting spray, I have the NYX Marshmallow Setting Spray. This is a matte finish makeup setting spray. If you remember, what was it? The Marshmallow Primer. I had it, I really liked it. And then there were new things that came out and I didn't like continuously use it. Like I have been my uh, e.l.f. Power Grip or even the NYX Plump Right Back. Love those two primers and I have been using them nonstop. But let's see. Ooh. Okay. It actually has a really nice mist on it. You guys, this is my fan from Mulan, <laughs> the ColourPop release. I keep it on my table and I don't usually do setting spray with you guys. It's usually off camera, but that's how I get it to dry down is my ColourPop Mulan fan. I have one from Anastasia Beverly Hills that is behind me right now. That thing is ginormous. This one is just like nice and tiny. It does the trick. All right, so we'll see how the setting spray lasts. Now for lips, you guys. I have the Line Loud Lip Pencil from NYX. And this one's a little more on like the cool toned, kind of like a mauvey pink. We'll see. I might line my lips for that. But I have the e.l.f. what are they? The Glow Revive Lip Oils. This is supposed to be a dupe for, is it the Dior Lip Oil? Let's see. So this is the Dior Lip Oil, which I bought a couple months ago. Really like this. It's super juicy on the lips. This is supposed to be the one that saves you some money and is a complete dupe for this one. So this one is the Dior. So juicy. I love this one. I keep it on me all the time. I took this with me to Spain for work. It's in the shade Cherry. And it just kind of gives your lips that like cherry glow. But I have Coral Fixation and Rose Envy. So Coral is the one that's kind of the clear shade. Whereas this one's supposed to have a little bit of color, I think. All right, so this one is Coral Fixation and they look super juicy. I feel like it's only fair that I try it on my lips and see because like this one doesn't feel super sticky or tacky. Oh, it's, it feels, it feels just as good. Like, oh, I'm glad I bought two of them cause I feel like I'm gonna use this quite a bit. All right, and then we have this one. Okay, so there is a little bit of color to it. That is really pretty. So I bought two of these, but the Dior ones are a little bit pricey. Ooh, look how juicy they look. So this one is Dior and then these two are e.l.f. Have you tried these? Let me know. So now I can just save some money. Now, I did pick up the Duck Plump from NYX. I haven't seen this being like a dupe for anything else but it does have a little bit of color to it. Ooh, that is really pretty. And that's why I got this lip liner because it looks like they go together a little bit. Okay. And then one other thing that looks like it was meant to be a dupe, 
This is the NYX Slick Click Fat Oil Shiny Lip Balm. Anyone can, can anyone tell me what they think this looks like? So you click it and it comes up. So I have mine in the shade No Filter Needed. This has glitter in it right there. And of course, on my table, I have what I think is supposed to be a dupe for, which is the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips. So I've got Lip Plump, I've got the Shift, just the regular Juicy Lip. And this one is glittery, it's got gold glitter in it. So I have the Rosy Mauve. Oh, it's a little more cool toned. So this is the Maracuja from Tarte. Look at those. They are just as shiny. This glitter is silver, whereas this glitter is gold. You guys. They are killing it with dupes out there. Because one of these from Tarte retails for $24. I want to say the NYX Fat Oil. I want to say those are like $7 or $8. I do know that I bought like a four pack from Tarte on TikTok. And they were like $10 a piece. Let's see. NYX Fat Oil. Okay. So if you buy the four pack, you spend $40, 10 a piece. This is $11. And you can buy it at Ulta or the drugstore, wherever you find NYX at. I think it's like meant to be a dupe or something similar. I feel like this one is more shiny than this one. Only way to try is on your lips. So I'm gonna take off the lip oil, the Dior dupe. And I'm gonna try this on my lips. I do love my Maracuja ones. I keep those in my uniform pants and, or pant pockets, <laughs> and my backpack, and my purse. Like they just, I have one even in my little like wristlet wallet. It feels nice. It looks really juicy. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Have you tried them out? Are they like something that you're interested in? I know that $24 a piece, it's a pretty penny unless you buy it in a bundle, but you could just pick up the fat oil slick click shiny balm. I like it though. It does feel good on the lips. I know there's some that are like the lip plump. They have like the minty tingly feeling for, you know, to plump, plump your lips up. I don't feel that minty menthol. Now, what to use? I like the shiny lip. Duck plump. Do we try this one, you guys? I'm not gonna use the lip liner. Not with the like plumping lip gloss but I do want to try this. I really hope this isn't like one of those like angry, spicy type of lip pumps. Here goes nothing, you guys. It's a pretty shade. Okay, it's a really pretty shade, but my lips hurt. Really hurts. There is a thing on the top. It says, caution, extreme sensation. This product may cause a temporary tingling sensation, which is normal. Discontinue use if you experience excessive discomfort. Do not use on chapped, damaged, or sensitive lips. And this is in the shade Nude Swings. I don't mind the like tart maracuja lip plumps because it's like a minty. This is this is painful, you guys. I'm glad I only bought one of those. It's like cayenne pepper. <laughs> Maybe not a cayenne, like a habanero pepper. Does I'm only a whole, like I'm holding on for a second. I'm about to take this off. I don't know that my lips look like they're more plump. Oh, this hurts. You guys, that, like, that sucks. That actually kind of hurts my lips. 
I think I'm going to use the e.l.f. Uh, Rose Envy Lip Oil. Maybe it'll make my lips feel better. <laughs> guys, look how juicy and like luscious the lips look. My lips still hurt, you guys. Okay, you guys, my lips have finally calmed down a little bit. I really like this lip oil. It's just nice and juicy on the lips and... I, that's what I love about this, but I couldn't bring myself to buy more shades of it because of the price point. I appreciate the fact that I can now buy it from e.l.f. and it's more affordable. So these two for me, I, I love this. Even the NYX Fat Oil Click Slick Click. I feel like I'll reach for this as well, along with my Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips, this. This one is, no, uh-uh. If you don't like habanero peppers just hanging out on your lips, like this is not it for you guys. I'm glad I only bought one and I'm glad I didn't go and line my lips to do all that effort just to not like, just to not like this. Warning. I mean, there is a warning on here, but I was like, oh, it can't be that bad. No, it hurts. It really hurts. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's talk about some other things. The eyeshadow palette, I really like the shades in here. This was the Intergalactic. I love the shades, the tans, the neutrals. I could still use like this champagne shade for work and then have a lot of fun with the blues and the purple. I really like how my eyes look. And then the mauve like tan shade, really enjoy that one. The blushes. Heed the warnings you've seen from other people on TikTok. They are super pigmented. If you notice, I just put it on the back of my hand. I put it on my brush and then I like stamped it out to like dim it down a little bit. And it's still, still very like pigmented, even through powder. I appreciate that. I am going to try out the coral shade. I think if I do the same technique, it won't be as orangey as it was on the back of my hand but I like how my blush looks right now and then even like on my nose to give that like sun snow kissed I keep saying sun kissed it's winter it's snow kissed appreciate that the tattoo studio and I never did go back with the spoolie to like tone that like there's one spot where I went a little too like heavy-handed I feel like the tattoo studio if you just need your hairs deepened up a little bit not too bad and they don't feel like super they're they're not fluffy but they're not like super crunchy and crispy like they can be so i feel like they're gonna stay put and it's not gonna like transfer everywhere i appreciate that the hydro what is this hydrating cc cream this fail was my own and it was because i chose the wrong shade I should have gone into my foundation drawer and double checked what shade I had and I was like, no, this one's the right one. I was wrong. I will go and switch it out for the right tone because th this was not it. I looked like a pumpkin uh, and that was my mistake. But I'm excited to try it out and see like with powder and everything else how it works. So stay tuned for that. We'll probably reach for this again once I get the right shade. The Lumi Glotion. This, I really... Like my skin isn't like super mattified. I do have a little bit of shine coming through. I'm not mad at that. In the winter, I need my skin to have some hydration and just kind of like a glow, especially with mattifying products. As I've gotten older, I noticed that, I've talked about it in the past. I've noticed that mattifying foundations just seem to define my wrinkles and pores more. So if I find like a serum or a glowy foundation and then put a matte powder on top of it, definitely helpful and it doesn't, it just tones down the age issues that I see. Is preference you guys, let me know if you're feeling the same way. Like I said in the past, I'm 39 years old so you know, your skin changes over time and I didn't like all the changes that I've seen in the past couple of years. And if I don't have to define that with my makeup, <laughs> even better. The mascara from L'Oreal, the Panorama. I feel like it gave some volume. I don't know if you have like really small, short eyelashes that you're gonna like this, but it is a really nice mascara and I think that I could use this every single day for someone that does have longer, thicker lashes. Uh, let me know your thoughts. If you have shorter or 
more sparse ma uh, lashes. Let me know if this mascara works for you. I'm really intrigued to know. And the last new item I tried from the drugstore, this is the NYX Pro Fix Stick Correcting Concealer. When I applied it, I really liked it. Put the powder on, blended it out, and I still like it. So it also just depends on what you're putting underneath it or on top of it. With the Rimmel Mattifying Setting Powder, it looks really nice. It's not like sinking into my lines. I I'm going to have under eye lines. I I've come to terms with that. But anything I can do to kind of like alleviate or minimize, I'm going to try. And I feel like it's doing a really good job for being a like little stick concealer. I don't reach for those that often. So I'm actually quite impressed <laughs> with everything I tried with the exception of this. If you don't like spicy lipsticks, lip oils, whatever. Don't pick this up. Uh, there are the ones from e.l.f. There's the NYX. Go pick those up. If you want something shiny and glossy and beautiful on the lips and feels great and comfortable and not stinging you like a wasp, go pick up one of those. But you guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications of new videos. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Until my next video, you guys. Bye. I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.